and I help leaders advance. And you may be wondering, okay, well, what does that mean? <laughs> well, it means quite a few different things. I'm gonna narrow it down to three for the sake of our conversation today. And this is one of those interactive moments. So I'll be looking for you to raise your hand when one or any of these begin to relate to you. Fair enough? Are we good? So the first is helping leaders advance to their next career level. So maybe feeling like you've been passed over for a promotion. Maybe you're not getting the buy-in in your office that you're thinking you should. Who's ready to move to the next level, either in their current organization or maybe at a different organization? Anybody looking to move up? Got a few hands, they're not all the way up in the air, except in the back of the room, she is out there. Yes, <laughs> I'm ready. I love it. The next is advancing your leadership confidence. So I'm not saying that you're not a confident person, but maybe having that opportunity to advance some of your leadership skills. So thinking about delegating, communicating, and building strategic relationships, just to name a few. Who's looking to advance their leadership confidence? Okay, I'm getting a lot more hands on that one. All right, and the last that I'm gonna talk about is advancing your ability to have work and life harmony. Balance doesn't exist, right? I'm seeing some hands already coming up. So who out there is maybe missing some time with family because of a interesting four letter word? I called it last time I spoke about this, I called it a bad four letter word and it is not a bad four letter word. Anybody know what that four letter word is I'm talking about? Work, work. yes. So work is wonderful and who is allowing work to get in the way of some of their personal commitments? Maybe not meeting your, uh, yeah, big hands in the back, yeah. Maybe not meeting um, your spouse, your significant other, when you said that you would. Guilty. Um, who maybe isn't making it to their child's recital? Getting some hands again, yeah, absolutely. So this concept of being able to integrate work and life is another way to advance personally and professionally so again if you raised your hand on any of those just one more time raise it up in the air let me see did we get everybody is there somebody who says i am not in the right place because this lady's talking about advancement and i have no idea what she's talking about okay i think we got everybody awesome advancement yeah makes sense right and there's four pillars, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the story of how this all came to be. So, this was my story, sitting in corporate, and I realized I was sitting in a cubicle that no longer served me. I had a vision that I wasn't able to bring to life. Well, one day, I did have that opportunity. And I wanted, I wanted at that point to say, and I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. I wanted that opportunity to be strategic, to be able to connect my vision and mission to what I desired most. Well, when you sit in a corporate position, what are you doing? You're focusing on the desires of who? Leaders. Leaders. Leaders, the company, the organization. Stockholders. Stockholders. Where are you in that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it is that first pillar is strategic and it is connecting your vision and mission to what you desire most. Now, those of you who are remaining in a corporate setting, I'm not saying quit your job. <laughs> I'm saying let's find a way to have you be comfortable in advancing so that you do have your vision. Now the next, as, as I stepped out on my own to start my own company, was realizing networking was going to be a huge element and I'm getting some rolling eyes up here like, oh, don't make me go do that. <laughs> um, but some elements to really be successful as I was trying to get my name out there, trying to find those strategic relationships. So the second pillar of the advancement is relational. And it's taking that opportunity to connect and have those strategic relationships and build high performing teams. Well, the third. The third element is one that comes so naturally to me. I like to get things done. I'm a checklist person. I'm an operational person. And that is the third pillar of the advancement. It's operational. 
So it's taking all of those elements that, taking that vision, that mission, bringing it to life through implementation. Who in their role has elements of operations? I'm expecting most hands to be up right now. Yeah, absolutely. So it's finding that comfort, that ability to bring all of that to life. That's the third pillar. And the fourth, in my opinion, probably the most important. And for me, it was going from a mindset of working in an organization and focusing on always making sure I was moving towards the goals of those who set them for me. Well, as I started to have the mindset and the need for a shift to be the CEO of my own organization, I knew that mindset was going to be the key. And for each of you, learning to manage mindset is critically important. And it's also the thread that weaves together and unites all four of the elements of the advancement.